Snapmaker has recently released the newest version of their 3-in-1 machines, the A250T as well as the A350T like I've got here. Today I'm going to be covering five different things that you'll want to know about if you're considering buying one of these. Number five on our list is that the new Snapmaker is actually the most efficient when it comes to power consumption of any Snapmaker, and in fact is more power efficient than most of the competitors of this same scale. Most 3D printers actually just run the fans all the time and everything is running at the same level. In fact, this old power module here from the previous generation ran that exact same way. Just always running, always on, and it was one of my biggest pet peeves is because it was loud and it was just always unnecessarily running at full speed. The new power module features adaptive fan speeds, so it means it takes up less power and uses the fan less when it doesn't need to. So right now, for example, it's not doing anything, so it's sitting very quiet. The fan is running, but it's at a low setting, so it's taking up very little power, and it's not just running full bore all the time like so many 3D printers do. As you use the machine and it needs to cool things down a little bit better, it will kick those fans on a little bit higher, but only when required. Number four on our list is that this is the quietest snap maker ever. So a whole new linear module system has been developed with different lead sizes on the screws, and more importantly, new stepper drivers for the stepper motors that help keep things extra quiet in all axes, X, Y, and Z. So between the quieter power module and the way quieter linear modules, the whole thing quiets down significantly, especially compared to the previous version. Number three on our list is the upgrades to the 3D printing module. I've been using this as a 3D printer for the last year or two, and as you can see here, I've been able to print some really nice things with it. I don't really have any issues. It's a good, solid 3D printer and always has been. All of the quality components work really well together. However, they found a few ways to improve that. So the new 3D printing module that you see here comes with a better ventilation system. And then when you pair that with the new firmware that they've added, it makes it so that it can handle corners better and layer adhesion is improved as well. So taking an already really solid 3D printer and making it better yet. Number two on our list has to do with the software for the Snapmaker. Snapmaker produces its own proprietary software called Snapmaker Luban. And with Luban or Luban, however you wanna say it, it actually has all of the functions that you need for CNC, for 3D printing, and for laser cutting and laser engraving. So while that's great, you can use third-party software for any of those. So for example, if you wanna slice something up in Cura or Simplify 3D for your 3D printing, you can just export the G-code and use it on the Snapmaker just fine. If you wanna use Laser Gerbo, for example, with the laser engraver, you can do that as well. And with the CNC, you can use Fusion 360 or any other software that you want. Now that said, Snapmaker Luban is getting better and better. One of the things I noticed just recently is that they added the support for multiple tool paths when you're carving. So if you wanna start out with a broader bit, for example, to do a lot of the material removal, you can do that and then put a finer bit on there to get all the detail work. The problem is right now in the software, for example, you can't actually change tools mid job. It doesn't have that programmed in. Also, when you do your second tool path, it's not going to allow you to just do the detail work. It will try to repeat everything that the first one did as if it was only using that one tool to carve everything. The workaround for this right now is to use a free license version of Fusion 360 where you can set that all up properly so you can actually have it do one to do multiple material removal and then the second one just to do the detail work without running over everything that you've already done. So that is an option which is nice. But the fact that they've introduced new tool paths in there, it means they're probably on their way to making something a little bit better. Now I did reach out to the support team at Snapmaker to find out if there is a workaround for this within Snapmaker Luban. And unfortunately there is not, but it is something that they're working on. So that's part of the benefit I think is that you can use other things, but their own software is getting better and better over time. So that's something to keep in mind, especially if you have someone who's kind of new to a lot of that stuff and doesn't wanna deal with such a steep learning curve of Fusion 360 and others. Now, the number one thing I think you need to know about the Snapmaker A350T and A250T is that they are fully integrated with both the existing and future Snapmaker ecosystem. What I mean by that is that these are fully compatible with all of the accessories and add-ons, the software, everything. So for example, with the original A350, I already had the enclosure for it and I didn't wanna to have to buy something different or modify it. No need, the form factor is exactly the same, everything fits perfectly. The e-stop works just fine with this. The air purifier works just fine with this. The rotary module works just fine with this. So any of the upgrades, whether you've already had some of those or are thinking about getting some of those, they all work with both the A-series as well as the AT-series. Either one will work just great. 
Now, one last thing that really helps with all of this is that there's a very active community around the Snapmaker because so many people have it. Now, you can check them out on the Facebook group for Snapmaker support. There's also a support forum on the Snapmaker website. So there's lots of questions, lots of answers, and lots of sharing of settings and tips and what people have created there that you can check out. Now, I personally do not work for Snapmaker and I'm not representing their company in any way. I'm just a big fan and have been using their products and reviewing them for the last couple of years. So if there's anything I can help out with, feel free to leave that in the comments section below. As always, links to this product and all of the other products that we've shown today are in the description below, and those will help you get directly to the page, and it also supports our channel by clicking on those. Thanks for watching. I'm Nils with the 3D Printing Zone, and we'll see you on the next one.